another week, another vlog. It's 8 a.m. Uh, I'm walking into the lab. We've got work to do, people. We got work to do. Have my bacteria grown? Have my bacteria grown? Moment of truth. Oh. I think it's worked. I think it worked. So as I mentioned before, I think, I can't remember how much I'd said, but basically I was having problems uh, with my bacteria growing the biofilms in the plates. So I've tried a new media again this week, which involved uh, seawater to see if they grow better in like a natural media rather than in an artificial one, which is what I've been using at the moment. So I filtered the seawater on Monday, uh, which was fun. I was in a different lab, so it was nice to be in a different environment as well. And I've also tried something, so usually I grow them in a 15 ml falcon tube, which is like this. And this time I'm growing them in 50 ml. And this is because I learned that you should have a good surface to volume ratio. Uh, bear in mind, I'm not a microbiologist, so I'm learning a lot on the job while trying to develop this assay. But I've been in contact with a microbiologist now who's helping me out. And she said that it's better to grow them in a small volume in a bigger tube. And it looks like they really like it. The reason for this is that my bacteria are aerobic bacteria, which means that they grow, um, they need oxygen to grow. So if I'm increasing the surface to volume ratio, I believe, it means that the surface of the culture is getting access to more oxygen. And also when it's spinning, it can mix better than if you imagine it in one like this. If you're trying to mix it, there's not really much air that's getting into contact with the surface of the liquid. So, so far so good. Let's take some growth readings. Hello, I am crouching down because I can't find a good place to put the tripod. <laughs> As you will have just seen, I again left my bacteria to grow in the plates and I just tapped them out and washed the, the wells. I'm kind of having to improvise because we can't get into our chemistry lab today and tomorrow, but we were only told yesterday. So I had to remove all the stuff from the chemistry lab that I needed for my experiment today and bring it down here to the micro lab. And usually to dry my plates, I would put them in an oven at 60 degrees. And what this does, it, it basically fixes the biofilm to the bottom of the well. So it dries out all the, the liquid and it's just the biofilm that's dried down, left behind. 
I don't have access to that oven, so I'm going to try and air dry my wells using tin foil to cover them so they don't get any debris in them. Whether they will dry by tomorrow, I don't know. Actually, I'm going to invert them on a paper towel so that the water can drip out, I think. Hmm, this is the real life of a PhD student having to troubleshoot and problem solve when these unexpected problems arise. I'm going to set that up, leave it to dry and then I can go home because I can't get access to the chemistry lab. I have decided not to invert my plates. I might regret this tomorrow. Um, I can see biofilm growing on one of, well, for one of my strains. Not sure what the other ones are doing, but. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave it like this. Whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. Whether the water will actually evaporate by tomorrow, but we will see. Oh, that's really annoying. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just have to see if this works. I'm not in a rush for them to dry originally. Okay, Russell, 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 Russell. Okay, let's leave it like that. I would have liked to have stained them today, but because of the current circumstances and I can't dry them quickly, this will have to do. Actually, maybe I could leave them open in the clean bench because there's an airflow there. Hmm. Honestly, I've got so many options and I don't know which one is the right one. That's the case most of the time with me. Decision making is not my forte. I'm the most indecisive person to ever exist. Please excuse the noise of the shaker in the background, but I changed my mind again. And I'm gonna put this little guy in our little 37 degree oven incubator thing. Cause I know that overnight residual water will dry in that, so let's give it a go. By the way, how many times did I just change my mind in the, the last five minutes on what I'm going to do with this one plate? Like, that's just an indication of how many times a day I change my mind with my experiments. It's worrying. I am home now and I am marking first year online lab reports, but they're kind of like multiple choice question quizzes, but some of them have long answers, so some um, postgraduate students have been selected to mark these long answer questions and we get paid for our work so it's quite nice. So I've got 60 to do. I've only done 12 so far so I'm going to just try and crack on with this for the next little while. just used bio render for the first time to make a figure and oh my goodness it makes such lovely figures and there's so many icons and stuff that you can choose from so if you don't already know about bio render and you want to make graphics and figures it's great you should use it by the way this is my procedure of what I'm doing at the moment so it's quite nice that you guys can see it in graphic form so what I do is I grow my bacteria on an agar plate in a petri dish then I transfer some of the colonies uh, to liquid media to prepare some overnight cultures so I let them grow overnight then I transfer these cultures to my 96 well plate leave them to incubate uh, for 48 hours typically and then I wash off the residual culture and just make sure that the biofilm is the only thing that's left behind sticking to the bottom of the wells and then i stain the biofilm using my purple dye as you've seen before and then i quantify my biofilm growth happy friday well, i'm feeling good today it's been a good week actually um it was really nice having that weekend away last weekend because i feel like i've come back and i've been a bit more refreshed and motivated and ready to go again and i feel like i have my 
life under control. So today I'll get the results from my first plate, my 24 hour plate, and just from looking at them after taking them out of the oven, they look so good. So yeah, I'm gonna go and stain them now with my Crystal Violet stain and see how they look once they're purple. Here is how my plate turned out. Honestly, I am so happy with this. The different intensities in the colour of the purple is because each row is a different bacteria and they all grow different amounts of biofilm. And this is what my plate looks like once I add 70% ethanol to suspend the dye and the bacterial cells. Don't you just love the purple colour? It's honestly my favourite. Hello, so as you will have seen from the plate, it looks so much better. I've got nice uniform biofilms growing. I need to quantify the results now, so I need to get actual values of the amount of dye that's stuck to the biofilm, which equals the amount of biofilm that's grown. But I can't do that until Monday. But yes, I am very happy with how things went today. I have rinsed off my 48 hour plate and I put it in the oven to dry. And hopefully that one looks even better than the 24 hour one, since 48 hours is the time that I usually incubate for. But yeah, for a Friday, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna say goodbye, have a nice weekend. See you next time!